Hey guys, I'm Roll Rider. Two of the best roller coasters in the world are Lightning Rod at Dollywood and Outlaw Run at Silver Dollar City. But you may be asking, which one is better? Today, we're gonna find out. Both coasters will be put through five categories. Stats, elements, theming, and terrain. If they tie, then there will be a mystery tiebreaker. Comment down below who you think will come out on top. With all that, let's go into the tests. The first category we have are stats, and let's compare both of the coaster's stats, starting with Outlaw Run. This coaster has a max height of 162 feet, which is starting off really good, but Lightning Rod's max height barely passes Outlaw's, being 165 feet. Let's see if Outlaw Run can come back with its max speed, which is 68 miles per hour. Once again, this isn't enough to beat its brother, Lightning Rod, as its top speed is 73 miles per hour. Even though we already have a clear winner right now for this category, let's see the length of the coaster. Starting with Outlaw, it has 2,937 feet of track, which is really good, but somehow, Lightning Rod beats it by a good amount with 3,800 feet. Lightning Rod does win the stats category and earns a point, making the score 0 to 1, but we still have to remember that Outlaw Run is considered a wooden roller coaster as Lightning Rod is a hybrid, so it's understandable that Lightning Rod won. We've made it to Category 2, which are the Elements. Let's see if Outlaw Run can earn its first point. Starting with the obvious, both of these coasters have lift hills and drops. First, let's go over the inverting elements. Starting off with Outlaw Run, it has a total of three inversions, being an overbank inversion and a double heartline roll. Having inversions on wooden roller coasters are super rare and impressive, and the double heartline roll is one of the best heartline rolls I've ever experienced. Now let's go to lightning rods inverting elements. First element we have is nothing, because lightning rod doesn't have any inversions at all. This does put them down by a lot in this category, but let's hope that the non-inverting elements will redeem lightning rod. Lightning rod has an impressive lineup with a overbanked curve, two outward banked airtime hills, two double downs, and a twisted top hat. To top it all off, Lightning Rod's special element is its launched lift hill, which is really great. Now changing to Outlaw Run, their non-inverting elements aren't plentiful like its counterpart. Besides the small and aggressive twists and turns, the only real non-inverting element is a wave turn. Considering all of these elements, the winner of this category has to go to Outlaw Run. This is because most people prefer inverting elements than non-inverting elements. This now makes the score one to one. With the score now being tied, we're going to a category that doesn't require thrill. This is the theme category. And let's start off with Outlaw Run. Outlaw Run has a western theme, like cowboys and stuff like that. You can see this a little in the line, but besides that, there's nothing else about this theme, and its cars aren't really themed either. Lightning Rod, on the other hand, shows how it's done. This coaster is themed to the type of car that shares the name with the coaster. Through the line, you can see this clearly, as there are references about cars and whatnot. But the trains are the best theming of this coaster. They look like the lightning rod car, and it looks super cool. Overall, both of the coasters theming could be better, but lightning rod has the edge over Outlaw, making the score 1 to 2. If lightning rod wins this next round, they'll win it all. This next category is how nice the landscape is. Starting with Outlaw Run, you're plummeted into a spot where it seems like trees surround you forever. Every tree is green and it's unspeakable on how cool this coaster looks. You really need to see this landscape for yourself to believe it. Lightning Rod is placed on the side of a hill and it looks great. As you can see on my POV, some parts are on the hill and some parts are not on the hill. This is a pretty cool factor to the ride though. Both of these coasters views and sights are just amazing but I have to give this point to Outlaw Run because it just looks cleaner and nicer. And comparing the two drops, you can see why I chose Outlaw Run. Well, the ties are scored, and now we have to do the secret tiebreaker. Some of you guys may have participated in helping decide this tiebreaker, but I put out a poll asking which one you guys prefer. Now, we wait. One day later. After a day of voting, the results are in. This was a super close poll but we do have a winner. One roller coaster, one with 52% over 48%, and the winner is Lightning Rod. 
Well, this is the end of the video, and I hope you like it. If you did, don't be afraid to like and subscribe, as it helps a lot. If you guys want more of this series, then comment down below which coasters you want me to do next. Anyways, with all that, I'm out.